Ezra! Ah, what happened? Lothra, Lothcat, Lothwolf, run. Pick a path and all is done. What's the status of the Imperial occupation? Mandalore's under complete lockdown. War's raging. It's time for you to prove your loyalty. Not just to your family, but to all of Mandalore. If you continue to allow this war to be fought on the Empire's terms, you are going to lose. We are not ready for open war. What about Lothar? We promised my people support. You can run Mon Mothma's errands, or do something that might actually matter. <laughs> Your TIE Defender is at risk. Krennic has been quite persuasive about his own project. Stardust. What about the blockade and Admiral Throne? Are you confident your ship can get in and out undetected? We don't call it the Ghost for nothing. Oh, got him! Captured Captain Singular. It will be done. Ezra, it's not whether or not we fight. It's how we choose to fight that matters. I know, Kanan. Maybe we're choosing the wrong way. When are you going to feel you've done enough for this rebellion? I guess I never really thought about it. So I guess you really never thought about us. Don't move! Oh, I'm moving. We will not stand down. We will not be broken by fear. We are strong. United by our courage. Now is our time. I wish I could see you. You could always see me. All the paths are coming together, right? I'm just not sure if we're going to like where they lead. Who's that blue guy? Grand Admiral Thrawn. Kiri Hart and I had played with the idea of putting Thrawn in Rebels for a while. Before I ever worked at Lucasfilm or ever imagined that I could work at Lucasfilm, I loved that trilogy, Heir to the Empire. I loved the character immediately. He was just so different. There was in particular a character that would always come up with us in story meetings, especially uh, for our characters in the Empire and that is uh, Thrawn. So we have taken him and put him into Rebels. I am honored and <laughs> floored and excited and scared all at the same time. <laughs> For those who don't know, Thrawn was the major villain in the trilogy of novels written by Timothy Zahn. He's a Chiss, which is uh, the blue-skinned humanoid alien with glowing red eyes. The fact that now he was going to be realized in animation made a lot of people very excited. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hi. She has a book to sign. Uh, okay. When Heir to the Empire came out, I was still in high school in Kansas. My whole family, we had to drive two hours to go to a bookstore to get Heir to the Empire the day it came out. And then there was a big fight of who's going to get to read it first. I just soaked it up. I reread it like a thousand times. Like, I, I actually stole it and brought it with me. My family doesn't have it anymore. So when uh, Timothy Zahn came, he could sign it. But <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it has, a, it has a big place in my heart. Killian, the art director, he knows I'm a huge nerd. And so he's like, you're getting Thrawn. And I'm like, what? Yes, I'm still I'm nerding out about it right now, again. <laughs> and it's been like months later.